you haven't fought anyone, you don't fight. I think I'm better than you. Oh, oh, we did David Blaine. <laughs> we got you a gallon of prime. I could go through this. <laughs> Hasbulo was canceled. His own pet cat. And he hit it. That's basically like he was punching a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have a type. What's the type? Whoa, whoa. Isn't Sugar a little unhinged? I don't know. He ran someone over like twice. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my I mean, you don't have, you don't have, bla you don't, ow. That's a chop, brother. Yeah, now you just chopped yourself. Get Ooh. used to it. Ooh. Love hurts. You know what else hurts? The end of a year. As you look back. No, you need, you, we need a different intro. No, we don't. Why bro? did you start Be with love hurts? Because it doesn't matter. It just, it, it, it is what it is, Paul. <laughs> Life goes how it goes, yeah, and this, it this year is gone. <laughs> it's gone. 2023 is gone, guys, but we are staying, unfortunate for everyone who hates us. Um, <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. Uh, it's been a great year, guys. Thank you for watching us. Um, as always, we've provided a little wrap-up of some of the best moments we've had, so please enjoy the top 23 moments of Impulsive's 2023. I think we were supposed to talk about one, like a, a couple of our favorites. Cause like you know oh well for me dude I was wait so just yeah we're just ch -ch I mean it's still going you said it and they're still watching like it's just real it's real life you know they like damn. this stuff uh, damn we did an episode this year with David Blaine that was a standout episode for he's me, so good at magic so talented yeah he freaks me out a little bit the amount of stuff he's able to do I'm sure he'll be on the favorites list. My name's Michael. <laughs> He'll be on the favorite. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart. We had Erling Holland, um, Jake Paul a hundred times, <laughs> KSI a hundred times, uh, Ice Cube, Cody Rhodes, some massive WWE superstars, including myself, of course, um, and UFC I, superstars. I know one of the favorite episodes of the year was Adesanya. Yeah, Adesanya's you know bright beyond his years. Had a lot of really good intel for the for the audience beyond fighting. The audience seems to like comedians. Burt Kreischer. Absolutely nailed it out of the park. Massive show. Gallon of Prime. Yeah. Pitch and Mark Cuban. <laughs> we did have some and, good shows yeah, this then, year, man. And then two weeks later, he leaves the Mavericks. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, yo, I want to sponsor your team. And then he just sells his equity stake. He was like, I'll take your money. And then just left. <laughs> left. Damn. <laughs> All right, Mark. Yeah, we had a good year. We did have a good year. Can I intro it now? I just want to say, before you do that, that I still do very much enjoy you. <laughs> I, you know, like I said in the last episode, we don't get a chance to see each other as much as we used to. And I don't really know if I like you as much off the show because of that. But when we put these headphones on, man, I still do enjoy, enjoy doing this show with you. So I appreciate, you know, we, we didn't even say this at any point this year. Five years of Impulsive came in November 18th of 2023. Oh Five years. We didn't even say anything. We didn't do anything. It's like our production team dropped the ball. What else is new? <laughs> you know? But, uh, you know, five years, bro. That's crazy, And, and here's the six. Uh, yeah. The handshake. I, I, <laughs> here's the handshake to six years. No, I love you so much, bro. And uh, just give me a chance to show out when we're off camera. Like, we're about to go hit some golf balls. Dinner um, tonight. Yep. I'm sure you'll, you'll like me again. No, I do. Just not as much as I used to. Here's uh, top moments of 2023 on Impulsive. You are tatted. Hello. I was doing some research on your Instagram. So many. You went all in. Yeah, I was really young <laughs> and I had a lot of friends with tattoo guns and I got one and I was like, this looks fucking tight and I just fucking... <laughs> Kept going. You never used the the painkillers or got put to sleep because you know that's a put to sleep. You know that's a thing now. now. Yeah, it's you know big. what though? I feel like uh, I was actually watching a TikTok. I actually TikTok so much because I be learning so much yeah. shit on there. But an anesthesiologist was just saying like that's not healthy because of what's going into your blood while they're trying to like. I don't oh, know. Really? But also oh. just like, I just feel like we should be saving the anesthesia for things that actually require. Anesthesia. Well, there's plenty of anesthesia. But if y'all want to put me to sleep to remove some tattoos, <laughs> I'm with it. That painful? I'm oh, so painful. Worse? My God. Worse than getting I'm it? currently getting my knuckles, like all of my knuckle tats removed. And when I tell you that shit feels like someone took like a burning hot sledgehammer Oof. and just started like cracking Oof. my knuckles. Oh my God. You're like, you know what? I'll keep them. Fuck it. <laughs> now I found somewhere in downtown LA that like 
injects like lidocaine. Oh yeah, yeah, it numbs the area. So that if I can put that on the painkiller scale, that's cool. I I think. I think with tattoos, the the people getting put to sleep is actually getting some pushback because isn't isn't part of like that mark on your body? Yeah, come on, it. gotta earn it. Earn yeah, it. Yeah, pussy smells like pussy. In <laughs> <laughs> you're 11 years old. You know how much you're paying yourself for? You know, right? Yeah. Why don't you say it? Around a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> wow, dude. dog! Come on. If you see his work. Okay, here's what I'll say. We were with Dave Chappelle once backstage somewhere, I think at, at his show, and his father was showing Dave his art. And Dave, he was like 10 at the time making this art, and Dave goes, my God. <laughs> Your son has been touched by the hand of God, brother. <laughs> and that's the best way to describe it. Literally a young Picasso, a phenom. He's a phenom. And uh, he came here because uh, we, we've been wanting to meet for a while. I signed a Pokemon card of his. He's into Pokemon. Andreas, how conscious of you are of how impactful your art is in the art community? Do you, are you able to comprehend what's going on in your in your life? Well, I know it's really popular right now, and I'm glad people are buying it because it makes me happy to make it, and even happier that it's selling. It's like so that's train. so profound. It's like his yeah. train. It's incredible. Everything he says is just a gem. I signed the Pokemon card for him, and I said, "You got it. You got to draw on this prime bottle." So, Andreas drew on this prime bottle here, one of his art pieces, and he signed it. This will be selling on eBay for a quarter million, quarter That's million hard. dollars. That's you know who else posted him recently? Was uh one of the guys from BTS? Yes, that was awesome, huh? You you commissioned a piece for him, right? From BTS. Yep, uh -huh. I think that was one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> with the the crying, yeah, that was sick, dude. Uh, such an interesting question because you're so young. Where do you get your inspiration from? Like, where do you come up with these ideas for these pa these paintings? Uh, well, usually it just comes to me because when I was younger, if you see on my first paintings, I did like the triangle nose. So I thought Picasso did that, and that was his style. So I looked him up, and he never even did that. So then I took that as my style. For some reason, I thought Picasso did that, but he never did that. You're original. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Love so it. cool to see him develop into a full-size human <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then see what his mind can come, come up with then. If he's this creative at a young age, I mean, are your peers jealous that you're making quarter million dollars of painting? Uh, or are they just playing on the playground? Uh, honestly, you, your peers are like nine years old. They're not making any money. Um. <laughs> uh, I guess my friends are happy for me. That's that's that is that is Ryan. He said he that's, played. I you, love that. He said he played you in a game of poker and you you took his twenty bucks. I did. Except about knowing him, I'm not sure if it was twenty bucks or twenty. Hey, this. But he he, he was pressing me. He's like, I need the twenty on the table though, because I don't I don't think you're gonna pay me. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. So I had to go. I go scavenge for twenty bucks. I don't carry cash. <laughs> but it, he was cutting me deals. It was crazy. He was negotiating he's with me. He's way ahead of his time. And now he's got money. He can get but addicted to gambling. The crazy well. thing, he's un he understood the game so quick. He just got unlucky. You got you got clout yet? You got clout? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh well, how many followers you got on Instagram? Um I don't really keep track of that too much. Got it. What is it? Uh, Andreas Valencia Art. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even run his account. I don't think he can legally run his account. No, he doesn't. You in you in LA? You live no, in Los Angeles? No, 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 San Diego. Oh, that's good. Because once you get clout here, it's not a. <laughs> it's you can over. get a lot of free stuff, but it's dangerous. I don't want to see you fall into the same path of life that you know someone like I did, for example. You know. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> like oh. oh my god. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
already have. <laughs> oh my god. Dave Portnoy, congrats on your Super Bowl commercial. Oh my Huge god. for you. Congrats on your Super Bowl commercial for all these people. Oh, congrats, boys. Yo. Congrats, boys. The first ever creator what brand going in off? the world. Jeez. To have a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, wow. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh. I'm floored. I'm floored, bro. That's sick. That was fast. Oh, my God. No fucking way, dude. I cannot believe that just Jesus happened. Jesus Christ. Well, congratulations, boys. That is a big, big accomplishment. Bro, you know how many millions? Such- how many millions watch the Super Bowl? Like 500 million plus? I don't think that many. That's the World, <laughs> that's the world Cup. Not 90 million, 100 million, 140 million? Who knows? It's a million, a couple of million. 100 plus. 100 plus million. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. It was expensive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, trust <laughs> me. I know. It was I expensive. Uh, what uh, though? Well, we, we talked with our partners, and it was like a conversation that was like, uh, should we should we become the first creators to have a creator <laughs> owned creator branded big game commercial? And we decided, yeah. And so we had to put together this commercial. Dude, I don't know if you know this. I did so much brainstorming mm. for for concepts to come up with. And we ended up just settling on that like montage yeah. type of hype thing. Bro, we had some sick ideas though. So many. There was ideas. one where I was like, bro, all we need to do is just Scream, drink prime, white background, just constantly at the camera. Drink prime, drink prime, <laughs> literally for thirty seconds. I had a Bill Nye concept. We almost got Bill Nye. I oh. almost there was a cheating pro, a cheating prime, cheating bot, pro- a cheating woman. I, that which, was the one that almost went. Which I might, I might still shoot because it's good. But you know, you know what? Why we went with that? Like, look at all these commercials that are airing right now. Mm. They're so produced, and you you can tell that they're professionally made by a corporation mm. which is so not us like our our entire being is that of like run and gun on the spot relatable content doing our best we can working our asses off to yeah. try to make something significant and so we made that montage using footage we had and footage uh that we sourced from different various events that we've done your boxing knockout yeah, yeah. sorry temper uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry temper uh the wwe stuff and yeah i think i mean we'll see the reception but i think i like that it looked different than the others yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying it yeah, made so much sense. Dude. Oh man, that guy got knocked out in the ring and he oh got to my relive god. it. Oh my god, I <laughs> forgot. Oh, I forgot yeah, it was in the commercial. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Compl- I'm gonna start getting texts right now from FaZe. What I completely forgot that was yeah, in the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I blame well, that was bro, that was what, January 14th? It was just quick, quick turnaround. Bro, we had thirty. Quick we had turnaround. thirty days to make this commercial. Yeah. Thirty. Obviously, we're not gonna go out and make some like expensive ass, but we had a zero dollar budget. We spent the budget on the ad spot. Oh my gosh. Let's go. This is the first time because of the engagement you've agreed to come on Impulsive. I know. I needed that ring on my finger before going here, but it's here. So it. we're ready to go. It's, it's here. And uh, and it's gorgeous. Did you take a look at it? I've not even seen it Okay. Yet. Do you want to take a look at it? Yeah. Can you just take it off your finger? I don't know about that. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Where's Jeff at? No, no, no. Because no. Yeah. yeah. It was steel, right? It's, I, I'll be honest, Nina, I'm very fucking proud of this ring. It's gorgeous. It, Is there a fly around? There was, it flew there off. There was, okay. It's it, absolutely stunning and perfect, and you have outdone yourself. Like, this is everything I wanted and more, and so are you. Thanks, babe. I, I was, I, <laughs> how much did it cost? Oh. It's, and I, it doesn't have to be a ballpark, it could just be de- the exact number. I'm not gonna say. No, you can say six digits. Well, that isn't indicative of how oh. much it costs. <laughs> I, I was debating on telling Nina, right? Like, like, do you tell your fiance how much? I don't much think so. Do, that's kind of weird. That's what I thought yeah. too, but I tell her everything. Yeah. And I know, and I know she wanted to know, even though she wouldn't have asked me, I know she wanted to know. I held off. I held off I for know. a little and bit. And then one day I was, I was, I was filtering through, filtering through the GIA report, which is like. Do you know what that is? I do. Yeah. It's a diamond rating system. Essentially. That's what yeah. it is. And there's a, the intricacies of buying a ring. VVS, this type, that type. It's How is it cut? Every what color stone color. is it? Where is it from? Yep. Blah, blah. Oh, you know yeah. it all. I, we used to have to buy s- certain things with drug proceeds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll say the specs of it. You could estimate the price. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's an E color. E color. Emerald cut. Yep. 6.23 three, three carats. Yep. VVS. VVS two. Yep. VVS two. Help. That's that's pretty that's, much that's about yeah, it. and then you got the bullet cuts that the you decided cut, yourself. You made it saying. your own, which I really appreciate. But I was so surprised, and I told you this, that when I opened the box to give you the ring, mm-hmm. you kind of just. 
glanced at it. You didn't even like look at the ring that much and, and you more fixated on me, which I was told actually by your sister, Abby, and like my mom and the girls in general, they're, they're like, when she sees the ring, she's gonna black out. But when I did it, she just, she just looked at it and we started hugging and it was such, in that moment, I was like, you know, this is why this is the girl I'm marrying. Cause like this moment, even though it is about this object right here, is just us. Yeah. It's just us right now. I, I had to tell her, I was like, look, look at this. Like, do you like it? Yeah. Is, this, is this what you wanted? I wanted to just take it all in. Like I kept telling myself, like, just be present and like do the mental photographs and like, you know, just really memorize what's happening. Cause I knew it was only going to happen once in my life. And it was so important for me to remember this. Cause I don't remember jack shit. <laughs> So I had to focus. Me either. I don't and I get anything. the rest of my life to look at this ring. So I wasn't really concerned. I saw how big it was and I was like, you did really good. Now let's make out. <laughs> Dude, can I tell you I fucking love these primes? Oh, you like primes? I really do. I really do. We, I was with my daughters when we were at the beach and they had a big stack. And I was like, oh shit, this is uh, his drink. And I grabbed it, I grabbed a bunch and put them out at the beach and in the fridge. The next morning I'm hungover and I wake over and I go, I'm gonna try one of these. Now I love liquid uh, uh, liquid IV. Yeah, Liquid IV is a great drink. Yeah, yeah. This has all the fucking electrolytes, all the fucking salts, all the taste, everything. I fucking love these things. Thanks, we man. have them on our tour bus. We have them on no our way. office. We have them in our office. No way. We've got the energy ones at our office too. Let's go. I fucking love these, dude. Dude, thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking great. They're great for hangovers. They're great for sickness. They're great for hangovers. Yeah. They're great for fucking hangovers. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I love them. Okay, so I got a gift for you then. Well, you, you, I, you, the guys that run Prime, the whoever is in charge has been hitting me up. Send, send me send stuff. It to All right, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll keep you stocked. But I got something for you today because I heard you drink a gallon of Kool-Aid today. I love Kool-Aid. Okay, but we got you a gallon of Prime. They don't make these, and we just assembled this today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, guys. <laughs> this is so pretty. This is almost as cool as a dinosaur bone. <laughs> Suck on that, Tom Segura. I, I, we ain't I, got him shit. <laughs> I was going to give it to you at the beginning of the podcast, but I forgot that. And so this we were going to prompt so... you to drink all of it. But, uh, you know. I could go through this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my favorite color, yeah. red. So that's... <laughs> Best video I've ever made is winning Fortnite without moving. How did you do that? I just sat in a tree and then tried for a week. And then I got in my friend's game who was in the same office as me, as me without him, him knowing. And it was still like a one in 10,000 chance that the circles, I don't know I was how much say, you how, know about. How, yeah, like, no, no, yeah, of course. Of course yeah. the cir so the circle closed on where you yeah, originally. Yeah, so I tried for a week without anything. I just sat there for a week grinding it. Oh my um, God. Probably did a hundred hours or something. Uh, but then, like, my friend was one of the best players in the world, but he was streaming, and he had no idea about this, but I got in his game. This one, yeah, I got in his game, and I still got the circle. I'm in that circle. Well, I think I'm... Am I in the tree? But anyway, point is, he killed all the final players, and I just ran into his room and unplugged his PC. <gasps> no fucking way! <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm fucking like... No oh, way! <laughs> this is, the, in my opinion, the best Fortnite video ever made. Wait, wait, wait. He was, he was in... He, yeah, he's he was in, my in your house? So uh, I, this is me Look, sprinting to his right. office. Shut up. This is when we used to have an office. And like I go and unplug his in there. There's whatever. no way. No, no. Okay. Shut hold on. Hold on. No, no, I just kicked him out of the game. I was no, right. hold on. <laughs> and then I come back and he's like, what the fuck just happened? Like he had no idea about this video. No, you're serious. Yeah, no idea. This was so. I this swear on my life. The idea of faking content is the biggest piece of dog shit. So this is why I'm still sitting in the tree that I So y'all actually. <laughs> have you heard about men getting the four inch leg extensions? And then are you considering that? You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like in general or just with that specific? <laughs> no, no, I just wanna like, what the fuck is going on in general? <laughs> like, like, there's like, at some point, at some point we gotta hold the right people accountable. Yeah. And it, it's the doctors at this point. <laughs> like, like, I don't know what you're doing to sell that you can pull all this shit off. Like what, I don't understand the confidence and comfort that you have in delivering these messages. <laughs> like, all I gotta do is take your fibula and, and <laughs> add bone. And extend, add bone and I can add bone, listen, it's easy. Like when, you, when you're when saying shit That's like, crazy. I can open your hips up and I can add, the, the, you don't need this bone here. So what I can do, I'm gonna take it from here, I'll put it right here. People, I can extend people are doing it. No, it's the stupidest people shit ever. People are doing it. You're, you're jeopardizing Everything. Like, what? <laughs> like, by the way, nobody's gonna think you had a growth spurt. You, you, <laughs> you clearly got the work done. This is what I'm saying. Like, people, people are losing their fucking minds. <laughs> yeah, man. man. Yeah. Like, they're 
here, I don't, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with their lives. It's your life. All right, and you, we only get one to my knowledge, right? Now, there may be more. Let's say, let's say there, there, there are more, right? And spiritual versions or whatever. Okay, great. But to my knowledge, you get the one. Live it however the fuck you want. Do with it what you may. With, with the part that makes me go like, wow, is when people get this shit and they just show up. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like everybody's not gonna go, hey man, what the fuck did you just do? Like, you, 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 have hair, like, you have hair now? Yeah, you didn't look fucked. I was just with you yesterday. You didn't <laughs> ball this shit. You are 6'6. Six, six. It's like, it's, like <laughs> yeah. it's it's the surprise factor in the you know, the immediate want for the attention that's attached to that. And you know, I I, I really hope and pray that this this thing of just like um acceptance or looking for it from others calms a little bit right like to where we're not we're not worried as much about the words or the 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 side of like acceptance from people you don't fucking know you know what i mean the people that have no value to you your life like looking for the yeah from the shit that don't matter i hope calms a little bit because this thing, like the, the motherfuckers getting their knees extended or whatever. Yeah, but that's not gonna, nothing's gonna change there because that concept of wanting to be accepted for vanity stats in life, like height and all that shit, is not new. It's just more under a magnifying glass now because of social media. You know what I'm saying? But since yeah. the beginning of time, people always wanted to be the tallest, the richest. I've never like wanted this. to be tall. Really? No. Never. It not never once. affected you ever in, in, your, in your life? At one point, I mean, I thought I was tall, so I got around tall people. <laughs> My crew was all the same size. I was like, this is good. Like, we're killing it. And then I got around tall people. I was like, oh, shit. Well, this is different. <laughs> well, the NBA ain't happening. Uh, but I think there's there's perks and benefits for wherever you are. Like, wherever yeah. you sit, stand, there's perks and benefits. What's the one of the perks of being, tr like, not as... What did you say? You What you, the fuck did you just... What did you say? What did you just say? I was, can, do you want, I'm not trying what to... What did you say? Because that's our guest. Yeah, what the fuck just happened? Like, we were on a roll... And then you you called me sh what? Did you, well, I just said sh I was gonna say a sh fan of sheep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Then What's then, one of the perks of being fans, a fan of sheep? The the <laughs> biggest perk, the biggest perk <laughs> to being a five five male is the clothes. My access to fucking clothes is ridiculous. You could go to Baby Gap and get. Well, that's the, that's aggressive. Okay. What you just did? <laughs> Very aggressive. I'm sorry. With Tommy Fury's on my fucking radar. I have him in my scopes. I wanted it when Jake was fighting him. And I'm going to be back in the conversation, which I'm fucking stoked about. Yeah, dude. October 14th, I'm fighting Dylan Dan. You just jump him, too, yeah. at that point. The both of you just... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do something. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish him off first. I got to handle that business first. We'll see, bro, because uh, you definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight from me. And I've been so lenient in giving you your opponents. <laughs> And I think it's but my it's not wait. It's not your option to give me my opponents. <laughs> you, you haven't fought anyone. You don't fight. You don't fight real fights. It's just not your option to give me my opponents. You're not even a fighter. Like you do exhibitions and lost like four years ago. So it's not your option to like give me my fights. It, that me and Nate Diaz have been talking about that for years, and then you popped up and were like. No, now it's my turn. I want that fight, and then start talking shit, and then try to like get the fight at in Saudi Arabia, like on the microphone, and like trying to like jump in on all of these things. I think I'm better than you, and I think Nate chose you for a reason, and I think everyone knows that. Even what do you in, mean? Even in even in here. But what have you done to prove that you're better than me? Well, I don't know. Went toe to toe eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time. What do you think happens if you fight Floyd Mayweather? I would knock him out, bro. One hundred percent. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. You, you think because you lost a fight to Floyd Mayweather that you're better than me at boxing? You said I won the fight. I In person, when I was watching it, I thought so. But then, yeah, watching it back, it's like, okay, I had like a biased point of view, like sitting there in person. This is the first time I've heard you say that. You just yeah, but because we never talked about you're it. You're switching up like that? The whole internet saw you repeatedly throughout the past two years say that I won that fight. 
And now yeah, you're saying the I'm opposite because I'm rooting for you. But like, if you want to know the truth, yeah, like I'm gonna ride or die for you on my shield. Yeah, hundred percent. And afterwards, when I saw that you lost it on TV, people in interviews would still be like, "What do you think?" I'm not gonna be like, "No, I watched it back and he, I thought he lost." No, he fucking won because you're my brother. I don't disagree, but the fact is, I went toe to toe for eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time, and you're not able to see how good I was in that fight. And yes, I'm in the WWE currently, but I like <laughs> boxing a lot. And I think I'm really good. And I'm excited I get to show it again on October 14th on the Prime <laughs> Park in Manchester. It's a co-main event. KSI vs. Tommy Fury, Logan Paul vs. Dylan Dennis. But, um, but for you no, to... No, for I, but I, I yielded, bro. And I'm, t I'm, tired of, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of not being picked because you're an easier fight. That is, that, whoa, is, that what you, is that what you really think in your head? I'm... Jake. I think I think you I, I'll say this. I think you have That's, more to I think Logan, I think you have more to prove. I think you have more to prove. I think you, you did go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Floyd disagree. Mayweather. I don't disagree. I think you need to still prove to the people, to the community, to the world that you have the ferociousness to put a man down. Yeah. And, I, I, and I'm I mean, not saying you're wrong. I'm disagree. not saying you're biased, I, unbiased, whatever. But once you once you sink your teeth and draw blood, put a man down, this conversation changes dramatically. It gives you... An, an, I don't disagree okay. with you, and that's what I fully intend to do on October 14th. Um, but I'm saying, you, you had your chance with Tommy. You did. You had it, right? I have not. I've not, I've not gotten to eat at all. You know, like, I, I thought yeah, I had I that, think Nate, that Nate fight locked up. You took it. I said, okay, go for it. I wanted the Tommy fight. Wait, wait, JJ but said, I, I didn't. said he wanted it. I didn't I said, take, okay, a, I didn't take a fight from you that wasn't necessarily yours. It's whoever's, it, it, it's in the ethos. But people, motherfuckers are avoiding me. They are avoiding me or, or picking someone else, and that's obnoxious. Is and, there, and, is and, there, and, and everyone, everyone secretly knows why. No one wants to say it because I, I have an 0-1-1 record, and I wasn't able to knock out the best fighter of all time. But I think it's fucking obvious, bro. I'm very athletic, and I've gotten the hang of boxing in the past two years after beating Fighting the Goat, and, and I'm excited to show that, and, and granted, do I still have something to prove? Absolutely, but if for whatever reason it doesn't go in KSI's favor, the story arc, the vengeance arc of avenging my business partner and brother is right there. I want to. I think you just. I think you just want to beat Tommy to, to be able to say that you're better than me at boxing. Well, I'll never fight you, and I don't want to fight JJ again. But, but I think that's like I think that's more so what it's sounding like it is. But, I but, if, like but I, it's it's crazy for you to think that people are avoiding you. But Nate chose you over me. It, why would, because, no, no, no. Why would Nate do that? But Ariel Hawani asked him to his face. And he said because his brother hasn't fought anyone in a real fight. He hasn't knocked out any MMA fighters. He wanted the most real, professional, legitimate fight. That's what he said. Nothing, but, nothing, nothing that I do in the boxing. And that's what he said. And that's or, what he said behind the scenes too. But nothing that's also I, what he said behind the scenes too. But but that he yo, literally yo. said, "Hey, Nate." His manager said, "Hey, we're not go, we're not fighting Logan. Nate wants this real fight." That's exactly what they what said. Is, because I do WWE. Is completely unrelated to my boxing career. Well, well, it just it just is. It just is, and and people know the pay per view numbers I put up. What they're, they're fucking big, dude. But you what, I'm a great like, promoter. What, what pay per view numbers though? Like it, one point two with Floyd. Yeah, but that's Floyd. Five hundred K with Floyd. KSI two. One point one with K K KSI, KSI two is three hundred K. Every WWE event that I'm in has been their highest grossing and most viewed. I think this is going to go go in circles. I think, but it's, li, li, but li, it's, li, but listen, it's free. Like listen, it's a for, free a, event. For, for a fight. No, no, WWE is people. It's nine, nine, $9 on Peacock. No, that's not free, brother. For, listen, for a, fight right, for a fight right now, for a fight right now, for somebody to break over, to cross over into the boxing, boxing space, Jake Paul to seasoned veterans of the of combat sports makes more sense as a fight. It just does. They may have they may have questions about draw potentially because they don't have a record to call upon besides Floyd, which which some of the points he's bringing up are, matter. What I'm going to say is once you do this next fight, you have a lot more leg to stand on. You have to go in there, you need to I don't even need to say this. You need to do what is obviously going to happen to fucking Dylan Dennis and yeah. then you and then you can go in and then you can go and build that that proof of concept again yeah, and yeah, draw yeah. right it's like dude this yeah. kid's been on every fucking sports illustrated every espn magazine he is the face of boxing right now you are I, the face you are the so, face so of w so that's why i'm curious because because you are the face of of at least this 
weird like influencer crossover i would it's deeper arm, than that it's, it's based. whatever you want to call it because you are the face of it and i can also sell an insane fucking number of pay-per-views and i'm not in uh, my potential opponent's head wouldn't it be an easier fight to fight me and yet they're still choosing you what do you mean wouldn't you think oh one of them has a losing record and he can sell the same, if not more, pay-per-views. One of them has a winning record and can sell a good amount of pay-per-views as well. Wouldn't, isn't... No, but I, I've proven to sell more pay-per-views consistently time and time again. I'm active. I have a promotional company. We do, you know, bigger deals, big, like I just, huge I guarantees, like a it. lot of revenue. Too, I don't buy it. What do you mean you don't buy it? I just don't think that... It's I a think, more, it's more, it's more I legitimate. Think, I think we, like we have a, me. we have a a better production we are doing it on a consistent basis i'm active you're inactive you don't have the momentum in the fight world you're not as respected as a fighter you haven't won knockout of the year you haven't won breakout athlete of the year you haven't done exactly. any of these things that's what i'm saying don't you think that he would go no they oh, want the oh, biggest they, fight they want the biggest it fight it would still be the biggest fight and you no, know that no 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 that's why none Come of these on. that's why I, you're I have not like one of the top 10 grossing biggest fights ever what are you talking about Especially now after the WWE promotional angle and the work I've been doing there, I've garnered a fan base that's going to want to see me perform in boxing as well. Well, we're going to see. It's, yeah, it's but no, but, but no watch, one, but they don't watch think the numbers. That we're going like, to we're going to see. Watch the numbers. We're going to see. Watch the numbers that the Prime Card does even, on but, October fourteenth. But, but even Cyber Stop. No, but even, can I can even, I can I, can I, can no, I just no, no, say no, 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 no. Even even when you sell on this next event. You can't even take credit for the numbers. That's the thing. It's at all? Partiality. No. At all? No. You, like, what does? What do you sell? That's the di okay. Cool. You did one point. I could say I did hey, one point hey. eight million with Tyson. We may. We may never. Wait. What? I did one point eight million with Tyson because he was the undercard for the Tyson. Exactly. Card. So it's like you could say all of these. I could say these things. Boo! Eighth biggest event ever. Cool. Like, but because, I, I've done the same. But things, because that's and the it's way more expensive than that fight. But because that's the way I weave my business. I am strategic with my partnerships and amplification. That's part of the shtick. I, I don't miss, and I, and I won't miss when we sell pay-per-views, ever. I'm a sick promoter and an easier fight, which is why I'm confused why anyone would choose you. An easier fight. Isn't Sugar a little unhinged? I don't know. He ran someone over, like twice. <laughs> like he, went, he ran him over and then back backed over him again I, I don't know about that but uh <laughs> all i know is I um no, no no he still doesn't know it doesn't, it doesn't doesn't matter yeah i mean you know at the end of the day it is what it is i can't say somebody's unhinged yeah i i had one suge knight story uh kind of like my iced tea story i i was coming to la for the first time i was still in college i was 18 and i didn't know who suge knight was i went to uh studio 71 yeah. my first Talent agency, agency, talent yeah. agency that signed me yeah. and, and manager Jeff was there and we were meeting in the boardroom and I hear some screaming outside some like some shit's going down and it there was I walk out I peek my head out this this conference room and there's Suge Knight and Cat Williams shaking <laughs> down the CEO of Studio 71 talk about <laughs> talk about where's my money I, I need my money now and I'm like I'm like Jeff what the fuck is going on and Jeff my manager who's like you know he's experienced in Hollywood I'm not just some, some dude from Ohio who like mows lawns he's like that's Suge Knight and Cat Williams and I'm like who's Suge Knight and that's when I got the brief on who this dude is yeah <laughs> and then we stayed in the conference room I mean, one of the funniest stories I, I heard I don't know if it's true or not I just heard it is that uh Suge had a had an apartment full of producers and I guess they wasn't Producing. coming up with the right songs. Yeah. And he gathered them all up and said, look, either y'all start producing some hits or I'm going to start producing some hits. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear I this farmer's story. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the subject line was Mike's Corn Stars, OnlyFans Farmer Milf. Oh, I'm intrigued. I, I'm going to open that meal. <laughs> that email 10 times, over 10 times bro. <laughs> it sounds like something greg paul would get <laughs> mike i'm a stay-at-home mom and farmer i would love to be considered by your agency on how to start on only fans i'm a 30 year old and i'm all natural i will mow on a giant tractor with my tits out <laughs> <laughs> i can change oil on farm equipment and even muck donkey stalls 
once again, with my titties out. <laughs> I live in rural Missouri. <laughs> oh, God. I live in rural Missouri, and I really feel as if this is an untapped market for both of us. Tractor mow the dirty hoe. You can start an entire division targeting farmers called Mike's Corn Stars. <laughs> I hope to team up with you. Oh, she's great. She's great. I'm not she better have her name. account ready. Yeah. Oh, you, no, you I'm not going to say no, I'm not going to say her name, but but why not? Because because she's an entrepreneur, dude. Nah, because it, I think she's onto some. I mean, she's already and oh, she also photos? has sent some photos. photos? Yeah, oh, she, no. <laughs> it's yeah, oh, no. <laughs> 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 she's on a no, no, no. You got a You got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend. Just blur her face out. <laughs> She's not a shirt. I don't want to see this shit. I'm just envisioning like oh, her God. like with a cow milk. No, she's <laughs> great. She's great. She's the entrepreneur. Dirty Mo, listen. Mike's cool. I never. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see this shit. I never. That one's PG. That was PG. I, I, didn't, I didn't ever move into this space. That's bestiality. Yeah. If it, if it's no, like, it's not like that. <laughs> no, she's not. No, no animals. Yeah, where's the line? <laughs> that's it. That's the line. Bestiality is the line. It's behind the mower. Jesus. I didn't. I didn't go into that space for a reason, and I and I'm never going to. I could have made. A, I could have made. Bo I could have made boxing money off of that. Yeah, off for that sure. Space. Easy. And now for you're a Snapchat. And I'm now I'm a Snapchatter, and I, I take pictures of waffles. But I I did not go into that space for a reason. I um, I don't want to say too much, but I, I'm I'm pretty reformed as it per pertains to the adult space. I'm not in taking any uh any adult content anymore. It's amazing what a good girl do for you, huh? It stopped a little while ago. I found myself, uh, I think I got too close to the industry. I know what happens in that space and I, I'm not a supporter of it. It's dark. Yeah, it's really dark. There's a lot of really nasty stuff that goes on. I support all the women for sure. I love all those girls, but it's just a really nasty space. Yeah. And I also just like to hold on to that. See, it. really nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I have been to Japan, so the day that I do go to Japan, I think I'm gonna try to run the marathon. With my, I never with my been cousin. there either. Have you? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> have you been to Japan? Have you been to Japan? <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you prepare for the marathon? Like, did, did you run every day leading into <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, nothing. We were just, we just wondering how you prepared for the marathon. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so wait, you lose, you lose muscle when you start training for marathons? I, I, in my case, I lost a lot of like muscle. Yeah. Just running a lot, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 you gotta avoid that for sure. <laughs> You're big in LA. Oh, I think I think I think I, I get it. I think I get it. I think I think I get it. I think I just I think I got it. <laughs> I just can't believe what people are doing for views <laughs> these days. What do you look for in a guy when when selecting a mate? <laughs> Is it their bank account? Can we go? Can we please talk about this really quick? This clip went pretty viral. The beyond viral. I mean, they had a Fox News, a panel of people talking about That's it. That's crazy. Why? <laughs> Why? Out of all the crazy shit I say, Why? <laughs> that she went, went international. I think it was just said in such a matter of fact format. What, wait, so what did you say? <laughs> she, said, she said that the last three guys that she's dated, she asked all of them, was it the first date? On the first date, yeah. how much they have in their bank account? Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. Do you see why all like the incel type dudes fucking hate me? And then I'm also like, oh my God, have as much sex as you want. Like they hate Well, is me. that, con is that portion, the bank account portion content or is that true? I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> say. No, tell the truth. Uh, no, I am. I will bring it up on a first date. Genuinely. You'll say, well, you'll say what exactly? I have to know. Can I see your bank account? <laughs> Are you rich? Are you rich? How much money do you make? How okay. much money do you have okay. in the bank? And do you guys see how funny that is? You're hysterically laughing. If he's not into it, I play it off like a joke and I just seem like a crazy fun bitch. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I think it's kind of valid. You, you got to date some broke bitch. I'm sorry. Bro, like, that is no, in, that nah, is in, nah. it's, like, it's if not Like if you want to do with money, if that's a thing that you want and you want to live a lifestyle, 
that is luxury. If that's what you're looking for, fair fucking question. I don't, I don't see the problem with it. Listen, do you guys take a girl out on a date without thinking she has the hottest bod and the hottest face? Oh, I'm thinking it, but have I ever said to her, "Yo, let me you, see that pussy on the first date"? But no, but you're so, so lucky. Yeah, like. <laughs> but you're so lucky that you can just see it, right? Okay. It's it's the same shit. But do you understand why that would make certain people call you out as potentially being superficial? Because that would because listen, like if if that's the, because because if you went into a date knowing the only reason the guy was there to date you was because he thought you had a nice box or a fat ass or whatever. I know that's the only reason. No, it's not. What there's a lot of guys out there okay. who are looking for partners. Right. So 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 it depends on what type of world you're in. If you're looking to just fuck and go on a couple flyouts, then that conversation has merit. But if you're looking for a partner for life and your first question from them is how much money is in your bank account, can you see why that would be looked at as a bit as a bit strange? Okay, this is <laughs> this is the thing is I am so sick of people taking like a 10 second sound bite sure. and fucking using it and rolling with it and just not including anything else. Headline culture, no content. First, and just first taking, class culture. Yeah. It's easy. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah. I, when I said that, I meant it. If they don't want to show me their bank account, I'll laugh it off. And if I really like them, we'll go on another date. I wouldn't even know how to do that. Oh, yeah, he know, even let let me see your phone. I'm sure. No, I can so pull I was gonna no, so, pull it up. So I was gonna ask you. Do you want me to look at yours? Do I get a second? <laughs> Do, well, now listen. Now listen. Now listen. This is now listen. This is in combination with a very nice home, which I'm sure you know about because okay. you probably do your research. Investment, so on and so forth. Oh my gosh, she knows the excuses. She knows you. Do I get a second date? How do I know this isn't photoshopped? Yeah. I would give that a second date. Do I? <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the top right. You got to like zoom. Yeah. Oh, you, there's no way you can say yes like that the same way to both of them. Like, his should have got a more. His should have got a more resounding. You asked me second. His should have got a more resounding yes. You, you asked me. Second. Well, what? Is, I am shocked. I am shocked. What? How little it is? No, no, no. Oh, oh. I'm shocked that her reaction was so. Oh, so similar. Because this is the. Th no, I think maybe because no, you know. What kind of Sorry, meta, can we what kind of meta are you can we redo it? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, are jump some, off, are you, I'll jump on the couch for Logan's response. No, 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 no. no. For both? For both, both both of you guys What's the max are you've very seen? successful. What's the max you've seen in a bank account on the first date? <laughs> Actually, scratch that. Max you've seen in a bank account. Let me see your bank account guy. How much did they have? I I honestly 30 million, maybe. Oh, that's a pretty oh. solid, also, solid checking account. But, have you ever watched a hentai octopus fuck a small Asian woman into the into a death state? You think I've never seen an Overwatch porn before? Wow. <laughs> Dude, out of your fucking mind. You think I haven't seen anime porn Have before? You ever What's your favorite porn then? What's my favorite porn? Favorite porn. Like top tier. Um, I, when two people just argue and they never fuck and they just fight. They just oh, that's good. scream at each that's other. That's called the Impulsive Podcast. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. What's my favorite porn to watch? Probably solo stuff. Oh, you like, oh, you're a solo guy? <laughs> yeah. Just to sit the opposite I just like to sit there and see, I just like to sit there and see them doing their thing because I'm doing my thing. Yeah. It's almost like we're in the same, same in the place. parallel universe. Right here, we're in the same place. Because when they're when two people are fucking or a group of people are fucking, they're all thinking about other different things. When a solo is a solo and I'm a solo, it's almost like we're connecting on this uh, universal ooh. level. We're both uh, solo. We're not thinking about anybody else but ourselves. So we do nice. it with the heart. Is that kind of nice? I like that. Yeah. So you just made that so romantic, that man. Nice. What's wrong can, with you guys today? Why can't the you speak? The next time that I jerk off, I'm going to be thinking about you. Think about me. <laughs> you, you, you jerk off thinking about me watching a solo. Yeah, I'm going to do that, bro. I'm not. I probably won't. But uh, Give it a whirl. Nah, I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably watch interracial, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? What's more important about less than what, what you watch, to me, is what's your positioning? What's your, what's your positioning like, when you watch Like, like, like sitting down? Liberal, like liberal. Physically, what is your positioning? Dude, this is actually a crazy question, and I have something that's very weird, and I've, I've tried to like do that locker room talk yeah. and talk to people. Nobody fucks with what I say, and I'm, I want to be vulnerable right now. I'm going to get roasted for this. No, we'll all, we'll all tell our vulnerable be the position. First time this yeah. week. I just mean that you're... You Mike's a meanie weenie, huh? Oh, no, he's going to walk off. He's going to walk off. <laughs> Come on, tell us how you jerk Come off, Come on, George. babe. I can't deal with all get this over here. shit. 
<laughs> Tell us your vulnerable positioning. Oh, I actually can't Well, let's wait take a guess. This. Let's take a guess at what he okay, does. Okay, I think he sits crisscross applesauce like he did at Steve Aoki's house I on like a that. yoga mat with a small incense candle like the one right there burning and some like Hall and Oats on. Ooh, I think you jerk off doggy style. I think you have one hand on the floor on your knees. <laughs> I think you jerk off down. You down at the floor. That is probably. I'm going to try that once. Do you think, do, be honest. Do I finger my asshole? asshole yes. No, bro. I don't finger my asshole. Do you believe that? But I don't, I don't yeah, mind. Dude, I don't mind. See how he answered that? No, 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 Yo, no, no. yo, did you I have Buddy. nothing against anal licking. I just don't like to go inside. Right, That's you fucking. Your own asshole? I tried to once. <laughs> Fuck. Flexible. <laughs> what do you think I do? Dog. Doggy style? He said that. Go on to the next one. Something involving, well, this is probably the only time. I don't know. I don't care. I want to hear you say it. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not going to tell you because nah, you just said on. you're not going to fucking care. Yeah. I was being vulnerable, he and cares. now you don't care about my jerking off. Well, okay, so I'm personally not going to think about it and spew a vision of you jerking well, off. Well, then fucking I'll paint the picture. What okay, so I don't like the cleanup section afterwards, right? So you yeah. buy a nice fluffy blanket, throw it over your dick, use that nut in the blanket, take it, throw it, wash it. Whoa. Oh, you're a luxury kind of guy. You're wow. sick. I like fuck. candles. I play R and B oh. music. So many I can't step. Yeah, of course. Oh, you he bought a blanket for what his kind cock. of blanket. What are you jerking off like an airman? Oh, not a nice fluffy one. Like 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 I needed an animal to die for it. Oh, okay. You what? You would rather do? All right. No one's first of all. No one's a fan of the cleanup. Like, there's no sick fuck in this room that sits there and they're like, "Oh, I came on myself. Let me play with it, George." No well, one's a, no. In this <laughs> slow down. Some of us like playing. Mike. Some of us like drawing squigglies. No, I'm just saying, like, no but do do you go on your? Are you on your back? I'm you, on my back right here. Is I'm, this your target? I'm as as simple as it comes. There it is. I, I lay on my back and I collect, before I do the deed, two small pull, roll, pulls of toilet paper. Got roll. it. I fold them into one half and then one half. One comes with me into the bed. The other one sits like kind of on the nightstand, right? Uh -huh. I'll sit there with my, depending on how much anxiety or stress I have that day, somewhere between semi-flaccid and semi-erect penis because it's never really hard anymore. I'm in my almost 40. I did heroin for 10 years. So I'll sit there. Ooh, what a detour. I'll do my best with my rubber band penis to uh, make <laughs> it do what it does. And uh, I want it to land directly, almost like a gymnastics routine. You stay shooting at it. Yes, on this target toilet paper, right? Now say I have some pent up splooge, right? It's been quite a while since I've done that uh -huh. gymnastics routine. Yeah, maybe it shoots into my mouth or my eye. You know what I'm saying? You hit your face? Yeah. Okay. Have you guys ever hit your face yes, with cum? I have. No way. Yep, I have. You I have too. It's I've it, gotten like up to here. Yeah, like I've hit there the was chin. one in your time, beard? But I will look away. Yeah. You got you looked away in time? Well, what do you mean in time? <laughs> well, the cum shot's pretty quick. Yeah, right? you're the one that says I'm gonna come. You know when you're gonna come. <laughs> Not Mike. You have somebody else in the room. You're like, you're gonna come now, Michael. <laughs> no, I know exactly when I'm gonna come. So wait, yeah, but the Mike's way the only guy that's blown away by when he comes. <laughs> Whoa! I had no idea I was about to come on myself. That's not what I mean. Lunatic. That's not what I mean specifically. What I mean is like, of course I looked away. I looked away. I knew no, I could feel the pressure was building. I knew there was a lot coming out. But what made you think like? This okay, could go I far? don't want to. No, not that. But like, I there's no way I want to see this. It almost sounds ritualistic of you that you're just like, oh, it's about to happen. Are you ashamed of what you're doing in that moment? <laughs> no, he just doesn't yes. wear his face. <laughs> and you should be too. I am. I am. You shouldn't Why be wasting you? all of this goodness Why on yourself. Why are this to ourselves? I'll tell you. You wanted my vulnerable. I'll give you vulnerable because you. that yours isn't that bad. Oh. This is the one I and I I don't do it as much anymore, but I used to love it. Ro I, the rock star slide. This this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I don't know why. I, don't know. I, I love it. It feel it's like tightening in your thighs. It feels I amazing. See, I could dude. see my. I got rock star knees. slide. If I didn't have such bad knees, I'd probably be doing. It something feels amazing because like something about the way you're positioned. It feels like it's primal. Like yeah. our bodies were supposed like to. Like liver. Yeah. Like liver king. Yeah. yeah. Like liver king. I feel like if you <laughs> ever <laughs> went fucking crazy and started jerking off in public, that's how you do 100%. it. Hundred percent. Look, you got your prime in your hand. I don't give two shits. Well, they told me I couldn't set it on the table. Well, you know, listen, it doesn't matter. Can I? Let's, who cares? Like, it's okay. What, yeah, but like, what? Don't do, do they it. think don't we're going to fight? It. Do not. But do they think we're going to fight? I don't know. I don't know. I was told. No, that's they want to fight. Listen, but that's my point. Like, there's, it doesn't matter. Like, you are building a foundation that stands, and yet people are responding to it. That's dope as shit. So I can't put it on the table. I, I don't care. That's, He's not saying listen, yes. I'm going to do it. I would.
Put it on this. Put it on this table. This one. See, not, this, not, 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 see, not that one. This, this is one. the context and what I'm speaking on that acts as a problem in today. <laughs> what is wrong? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I was totally like, but in a business of brands, <laughs> in a business of brands, in a business of just like commerce, people act as if they're going to be one. It's like, true. Gary yeah. Vaynerchuk put this in a very nice context that I love. Everyone thinks it's uh, it's an or world, it's an it, this or that. Why can't it be an and world? It can. It can. And this and that. But it's only that only exists for the people that process that. For the people that process and understand, like we're, we're telling two different stories. Your story behind your product is different from mine. I love your story. I love the fact that y'all two did it together. Hey, man, I'm rooting for you. Thanks, man. The world of what I'm doing with C4 and my reason behind that is a completely different thing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm shocked. Hello, Mark. <laughs> shark, the, Mark the Shark and former opiate addict Mike. Today, I'd like to pitch you Prime Hydration. Okay. Prime Hydration was developed to... Why would you... Well, no. Prime Hydration was developed to fill the void where taste meets function. Uh -huh. This is the fastest growing beverage in the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that, that can be very No, I know, I know the stats. It's... 825 milligrams of electrolytes, BCAAs, antioxidants, B vitamins, 10% coconut water, only 20 calories and two grams of sugar. Mark, this is a big deal. We sell in UK, Ireland, South Africa, United States, Canada, Australia, and Germany. We are the official sports drink of the UFC, Bayern Munich, Arsenal, FC Barcelona, and the Dodgers. Good for you guys. And, uh, I think you should really start paying attention to this drink. And uh, yeah. Sounds good, man. So I bring it over, let me taste it. Does it got any caffeine in it? Uh, this particular skew does not have caffeine. because I can't do caffeine. No, this does not have caffeine, but uh, we also have Prime Energy, which does have caffeine, but that's for 18 plus. Um, people by the likes of drinking and stuff. <laughs> Are you a strawberry watermelon guy? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. well, because we also had these. Give, this give, blue me, give me the blue. Yeah, give I, I care more about what's in it, right? So let me take a give look. Give me the blue rasp because of Dallas. Oh, blue rasp because of Dallas. And it's a better flavor. Oh, you got pota potassium, 700 milligrams, Pistachios? right? Yep. Because yep. potassium is the hardest thing to get. Uh, we, we, we believe uh, that most Americans don't suffer from sodium deficiencies. No. There's a lot of salt in what we yeah. eat. Yeah. And uh, we went with potassium as our, as our main electrolyte. Yeah, which is cool. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. It's good. Yeah, it's really good. I'll drink this. And honestly, I, I would drink Under Armour because they have a potassium one. Under Armour's a apparel. Um, no, uh, yeah, no, they have, a, they have a drink too. Body Armour, right? Body Armour, not Under Armour. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Body Armour. Um, and so I like this better. Yeah, for sure. How much do you like it? How much do you like it, Mark? I would drink it. I would buy it. Really? Yeah, for sure. How much would you buy of it enough to i'm pissing yeah <laughs> so we don't need your money mark all right i'm not looking for an investment like a typical person pitching you uh-huh this pitch is a little different all right i want to be the official sports trick of the dallas mavericks how much money you got enough all right we can figure that out i'm serious yeah so am i i'll take your money <laughs> <laughs> Your initials kind of crumply on that maybe on the white part over there can you fold it a few times but never let us see the other side okay. i never want to see the president's face yeah, and keep your signature shown so we know it's yours okay can you hide this bill somewhere in like a pocket somewhere that yeah. i can't get to it so yeah like a back pocket or where for sure i don't care just yeah. somewhere that i yeah. cannot get to it as i run through the cards you just say stop so say stop on a little pile when you for like there say, say stop stop okay one more time say stop there, more. Stop. There. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. But, but you're going to shuffle them more. Done. Turn two of the piles face down. Two piles face down. Great. Now, you know, in Vegas, what they do is they kind of push them in. You know, they do like that. Yeah, for sure. So, but you're going to push these so they really go face up into face down. So you're kind of pushing them in. Like for a shuffle. Right. Yeah, push them into each other. Push. Yeah. Good. Now, hold on. Let's do this to make it fair. Do you want to turn this pile or this pile? Which one? It's up to you. 
Turn this one. Flip the whole pile over. Good. And I want you to just push everything into one, all of it into one. And you agree, are the cards really being shuffled yeah, face up into face it, down? It feels thorough. Yeah? Yeah. And you shuffled behind your back, yeah. but now you're shuffling this way. Yeah. So push them all in. Would you be impressed if every single card in the deck turns face down? Uh, that's it, impossible. It's not possible. What if they're all face down and in order? That's, that's also completely impossible. Okay, so my it's hands impossible. are empty. Make sure I'm not doing anything. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, that's good. Hey. Makes it harder. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's good. Go ahead, all. Can I, can I get it straight? Yeah, I yeah, kind of yeah, have OCD yeah. a little bit. But watch, ready? Everything is now face down. <laughs> That's not Slide possible. Slide the card slowly across the table. Slide them just... slowly, 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 slowly. <laughs> oh, 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 we need him. No. We need David Blaine. <laughs> That's what we call it, defeat, Blaine. Well, no, no, I know what happened. Um, if, if we were playing poker, this is a, look at, there's four or fives there. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I yeah. saw, I saw so that. Think about that. It's think a four, four of a kind. So okay. you shuffle behind your back, then you shuffle on the table, and there's a, a four of a kind. What are the odds of that, statistically speaking? One in a hundred, that, what is that? So that's what just happened right now. Well, that's cool and all, but you still fit. Yeah, that wasn't your trick. You screwed dude. up, dude. But we'll allow it. You're a great starter. No, but, I, no, but what I said is all the cards would be face down and in order. And that is the order. Because remember, you took a bill from your pocket yeah. that was your bill. Yeah, I remember. And then you signed it, but we never saw the other side of it. I don't like you. I don't know what you're saying, but I don't. Is the serial number on the bro, bill? Bro, stop. The stop. Oh. Just stop, dude. Take what you're doing and stick it somewhere, bro. I don't <laughs> like this. <laughs> this is <laughs> up. <laughs> Read it out loud. Read it out loud. No! Oh, come on, man. Five, 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 no. six, no. five, two, two, no. seven. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's what ha what just happened is not humanly possible. No. So I'm about to go crazy. Right. I wrote a little rap here. <clears throat> it's an open verse challenge. Hold it a little away. A little closer. All right. Here we go. Uh, yeah, toe tag him, just learned backgammon. My mom's name Pam and I'm snacking on salmon. Chilling with my boy, sucking dick, making noise. Freestyle, getting sus, holy shit, I'm about to bust. Uh, island life, I don't fuck with Matt Rife. If I see him, it's on sight, nah, I just capped twice. Jake beats Nate D, Tate is rapey. I'm being silly cause Prime made a billy. Okay, yeah, great, great, okay. but can, okay. We, can we briefly... Come okay. back to the part about you sucking dick. <laughs> Did I hear that? Did I say that? Yeah. Did I hear that? Did I say that? Yeah, I heard you say okay. Wait, did I say that? And who, 100%. Who's, say that? Yeah. And do you like Matt Rife or no? I fuck with Matt Rife. Okay, heavy. so you lied. In the, but I, capped twice. I capped yeah. twice. Yeah. I said, if I I don't fuck okay. with Matt Rife, if I see him, it's on sight. Nah, I just capped twice. Okay, but come back to the part about you sucking dick. I don't dick. think I said that. I come from a, like, uh, Sporty family, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I did. I went on it jumping. I did. Uh, I was High doing, uh, no, no, like uh, on long length. Jump. Yeah, like on long the on the um, triple jump oh, triple to, jump. In, to the sand. Long jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did that. I did sixty meter, uh, just sprinting straight ahead. So I did. I did some stuff. I I went on a lot of things. Handball as well. I, I went a bit on Handball. golf. Yeah, football. Heck. Yeah, so I went on. Uh, but you say quite golf as well. Yeah, golf a little bit you as well. Do all sports, <laughs> good at I mean, bro, yeah. again, look at how he's built. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you land on soccer then? Or football? Always. Oh, football. Wow. Sorry. You mean football, bro? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I <laughs> sorry. No, it I, is. and it's gonna reflect upon me too. <laughs> uh, I was in the chat. No, I was. I was always uh, into football the most. Uh, it was always natural for me to choose football. I was I was good in handball as well, uh, but it was always natural for me to choose football. It was more fun. I was better. Imagine he's so, become a professional so. handball. <laughs> My sister has a very large baby. She but, is okay, not. Okay, I'm sorry. My sister is a beautiful baby by the name of Sloane. I've had the luxury of spending some time with her because I've... I've made time because I think we need to all make more time to spend with our families uh, while we have them. And uh, I've never felt like I wanted to have a, a child 
as much as when I'm spending time with this with this little girl, dude. She is so happy and curious and bouncy and excited about life. And man, I have just been, I have just been spraying in everything, every girl since I met that baby, bro. Because I've been, I'm just real intent on having my own, dude. I mean, everybody, dude. Every. You know, nickel hooker on the Raper Bond in, in uh, honestly, Hamburg. Honestly, this Dude, is I'm not, gonna... not true. Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, <laughs> I can't believe this is your first time finally talking about these things. <laughs> it's not true. T tell him what you said about his type on the way over here. I, I said I was not going to say it on camera. What are you going to Because it, it does a disservice to the girls you've dated, but you do have a type. What type? Mm. What's the type? Hoary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I just, I just don't, I'm, I'm whoa. sorry. I, I swear, I, gonna, I, swear <laughs> I swear on my, my mom's life, I was like, okay, what's Mike's type in my head? And the word I thought of was whore. And, and exactly because there's no other way to just, and it's not, it doesn't, again, you've dated a lot of girls I've really liked, truly. And I'm, I just, I you have a type like it, every every picture you show me is a girl bent over whoa, 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 like whoa, whoa. it's just a, it's just it is what it is i don't judge them like it it is what it is but you that's your type well you're not gonna date a girl in an oxford shirt that's well, i don't shirt. yeah i don't really have like a defense per se because <laughs> you're not wrong but i will say i think just because like my my love life well it's not called that but my life, your sex life, is, it, it is because of because of like how much I'm always like doing shit and like moving and shaking, or at least trying to like do shit all the time and build my career. It's a little transactional, and so the the sex that I have is generally pretty transactional. So like, okay, let me ask you this question: If you had a nail that you had to, you know, knock into a piece of wood, would you use a hammer for it or a toothbrush? Just answer the question. A hammer? Okay, I have a very specific need that I need fulfilled in my life. Do you think I'm gonna go after an Oxford wearing housewife for that need? Or am I gonna find, you know? Yeah, but maybe maybe girls who wear Oxfords are just as good in bed. I'm not, not to call you out, because it's kind of weird, but Don't like, do it, don't, okay. please don't. Cause some, you know, like- <laughs> Don't do it, that's You weird. don't strike me as someone that's- <laughs> Cut that, please, for the love of fucking God. <laughs> you just, you know what I'm saying, like, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Logan and I had this discussion last night. Jack told me he got one hand job in the past three years. And that's it, dude. I'm not going to fucking lie. That's, like, crazy, bro. I got real serious needs. I got an addiction. Please. Right? I smoke crack. <laughs> okay, dude? Like, I, like you, I can't deal with some standoff, like, hold out. All right, then, then you're going to be alone forever. Well, I don't feel so no, lonely. You, you can't just, say that. I just, have a, I just have a constant refresh button. <laughs> Now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for Impulsion! Hey, I think we should open the episode with that. <laughs> this week, I'm sure you guys have saw all over the world, Hasbula was canceled. What? No, yeah. Big time. Yeah, he was canceled. Ow. You guys know Hasbula, right? Cutest little baby. Well, he's not. He's a grown man in yeah. that baby's body. Yep. And he did an apology video as a baby. You know, it's like a it's a baby doing an apology video. The first so time ever. Like, first time it's yo, ever been done. You're good, bro. Like I'm you're forgiven. This is like <laughs> the cutest little apology video I've ever seen. Well, what happened? He put a cat in a roller coaster or something like that. Right? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, oh, yeah. his cat. I haven't seen this. Is what that are you real? talking about? You know about? that game Whack a Mole at the bro. arcade? Uh, this he hat, set bro, one up with a cat. He's been wrestling. He's been wrestling. That's not true. I, I, I scroll through. I see Hezbollah videos all the time. No, not anymore now. So Hezbollah rode a cat at a theme park? No, he was whacking the cat. He was hitting his own cat. It's his own pet cat. How did the cat get in the Whack a Mole machine? It's his own pet cat. And he hit it, but his Hasbulla's fist and the size of Hasbulla, that's basically like he was punching a tiger in the face. You know? <laughs> so it's kind of okay if you think about it. Now, don't attack me. <laughs> like Hasbulla attacked his cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, he so he made an apology video. He made an apology video and then he went out with what his did he voice. Say? He, he doesn't got, even speak English. He got water. He no, still he... say stuff, Jeff. Oh, yeah, but I'm saying <laughs> he's, not he's, like, he's not a mute, bro. He was like, I didn't hit the cat that hard. 
You know, like oh, basically. that was that was the route you took. Yeah. See, the, I'm always curious when things happen like this, mm-hmm. and why are cats always the victim of some of these cancellation things? What? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, man, that's it's true. Shane Dawson. Yeah, it's true. Poor cats. Okay. You don't deserve cats. Don't kill cats. <laughs> what angle they're gonna take? So he took the. Uh, I was just kind of shadow boxing. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he was like, it's my. It was like a love tap, and the cat was being bad. He also threw that in there. I don't think he has much of a PR team around him. They kind of just like let him let <laughs> him do the, the cat was being bad. The cat. I don't know if the cat. I mean, cat. allegedly the cat was being bad. Yeah, it was not behaving, and that's why he went and gave it a whack. He gave it a nice little slap. Yeah. You know, whack. Be- and it, he filmed it, put it on. He filmed it, and he thought, you know, this will be funny. Everybody likes my content. He posts it, and then <laughs> likes my content. You know, it just yeah, gotta, it blew up in his I face. I gotta see this video right now. And then I just he saw out. this week that he got a Jordan deal for shoes. See, Not anymore. They took it. Hezbollah the breaks silence following backlash after appearing to hit cat. The, the headline. But isn't that his thing? Isn't that his thing to like punch, punch everyone he sees? Yeah, yeah. They punch Mike Tyson. But they, they they drew the line at the cat. Cats. You cannot. You can't be hitting. Don't fuck with like cats. That. There's a whole documentary about it. Plays plays. Oh, that response. was crazy. Wow. Yeah. Plays. That's Hezbollah is going to be the sequel of that. Don't fuck oh, with cats. Be ads and shit. Listen, when you sat down today. Into, into the mic. I love his voice. <laughs> I pulled the ear gently. <laughs> and I know that people are waiting for the moment. People pray If I write something wrong, could just attack me like this. Yo, I've n- I did not see this coming. Yeah, it's, it's, one, it's one of the biggest well, news. You were trending number three for the Frog Splash. That was number one, dude. Mm-hmm. He was number one in the world, wow. dude. Nobody even watched WrestleMania because they were all watching the Asbo apology. He's the biggest I think star he should world. be in the WWE. But your family's ro- royalty, dad, Dusty Rhodes, half-brother, Dustin Rhodes, mm-hmm. Gold Dust, which wasn't sister, Lana Rhodes. Um, the p- sir? Oh, I'm... I don't, think a- we're re- I don't think we're related. No, that's not... That's Are we not, not related? I thought they were... I thought... Oh, they go oh, back oh to, uh, okay. Well, okay. We'll go back to Dustin and, and Dusty then. Uh, yeah. Gold Dust. I mean, you're in a... F- <laughs> I mean, everybody in the family's good at physical stuff. That's his ex girlfriend. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we both do a dive onto this table here. If you do the better dive than me. Why do a dive when I'm going to throw you on it? No, guys. <laughs> no fucking way they just did that. No, guys. No no way. No way. No way. You guys can stop it. You guys can stop it. Oh my god! Oh my god! You all can do anything! We are here, <laughs> impulsive! Live alert! Crime <laughs> <laughs> is happening! 